Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Excel Sessions. I am Saurabh Jain and starting Excel VBA sessions from today. This is the first video on VBA where we will start with basics of VBA, security settings and VB editor. We will cover all these required topics in coming videos one by one. I assure you, if you watch my full videos and do practice with shared Excel sheets and complete the assignments, then after completing the sessions, you will be able to write macros at your own. Please share your feedback, suggestions and queries in the comment section so that I can improve the content. Also, I will reply to each query to make sure that you can understand each topic completely. So let's start. To write macros in Excel, you must have developer tab in your Excel. If developer tab is not visible, then go to file, select options and in Excel options, select customize ribbon and in right side list box, select developer option, click OK and developer tab will be visible. Now click on developer tab, click on visual basic option. It will open Visual Basic Editor where we will write macros. You can switch in between Excel sheet and VB editor using Alt F11 key. Excel has security settings for macros. To check the macros settings, go to File and click on Options. Select Trust Center option, click Trust Center Settings button. Select Macro Settings option in Trust Center window. There are four macro settings available. The first option will disable all the macros, means macros will not work. So make sure that this option is not enabled in your Excel. If you select the second option, you will see a yellow color message bar on the top of Excel to enable the macros. So if I select second option, click OK, click OK. Now if you open any Excel sheet having macro, it will show a security warning that macro has been disabled. And to enable the macro, you have to press enable content button. Or you may get a security warning when you are opening a sheet having macro. If you select third option, only macros with a digital signature are allowed to run. And if you select the fourth option, all macros will run without any notification. As we are using our own sheet, hence we will use the fourth option. So select this option, click OK, click OK again. Now Excel will run macros without any notification. Before starting our own macros, we will understand how recording macro option works in Excel. Remember, when we record a macro, Excel often records lots of unnecessary code. So after recording, we must have to check and remove the unnecessary code. Otherwise, your code will not work as expected. In this example, using record macro option, we want to apply a specific font name, size, color and style to the selected cells. So if we select the cell or ranges of cell and press the button, the required format style should be applied. So let's see how we can do the same operation using record macro option. To record the macro, click developer tab and click use relative references option to enable it. If the option is highlighted, it means it is enabled and it will use relative references while writing the macro. Now select the cell you want to highlight and Click on record macro button in developer tab. Now give any name in the macro name. So change header 
is my macro name now type any key to specify the shortcut key to execute the macro so i'm using key h now to run the macro i can use control h key combination now in the store macro in option there are three options available if you select this workbook the macro will only be available in this workbook if you select new workbook the macro will add into a new workbook and if you select personal macro workbook option the macro will be available in all the workbooks for this example i am using this workbook option click ok now the recording is started change the font name to abadi font size to 16 cell color to yellow font color to blue and font style to bold now go to the developer tab and click stop recording option click on visual basic option or press alt f11 go to the modules and you will find a module is added double click this and you can see the macro added in the module now currently there is no need to worry about the code we will learn the objects and their properties methods in further videos but if you read you can easily understand what it is doing so the macro is changing the font name size and the color of the selected cell or range in the macro there are other properties defined which we haven't used while recording the macro but we can keep it as is because there is no impact on the result so now go to the excel again select cell b2 to c2 and press ctrl h option the macro will run and the specified format will be applied on the selected cells now we can execute the macro on pressing a button also to add a button in the developer tab go to the insert option and under form controls click on button now click anywhere in the excel sheet it will open assign macro window select the macro name and click ok button now the button is added right click the button and select edit text option now change the button text to change header you can resize the button now select any cell and click on the button the macro will run and the specific format will be applied to the selected cell or range remember excel record each action and hence in the same example before selecting cell a1 if i click on record macro button specify the macro name change macro shortcut key is control i and click ok now recording is started i am selecting cell a1 and then applying the mentioned formatting changing the font name to abadi font size to 16 cell color to yellow font color to blue and font style to bold now go to the developer tab and press stop recording click on visual basic or press alt f11 now you can see a new macro is added now in the first line you will find a different line which is using offset function because it recorded the movement of cursor from the selected cell to cell a1 now in this scenario in excel sheet if we select any cell say h13 and execute the macro using control i then either it will throw an error or will highlight any other cell hence we need to add it and remove the unnecessary lines so now in the code if i remove the offset part and keep the range part as is then 
on executing the macro using control i it will apply the formatting on cell a1 every time so you can comment this line using apostrophe sign so that the vba will not execute this code now select any cell and press control i and it will execute the macro and change the format of the selected cells so remember after recording if you find offset function you need to check whether you need to remove the code completely or just need to remove the offset part it will be more clear when you will do the assignments now save the file remember the extension of files having macros must be dot xlsm so save the file press save button and now anytime you can execute the macro either using the button or by shortcut key now let's understand the vb editor the white space where macro is written is known as code window and the left hand side window where the excel sheet objects are visible with module is known as the project explorer now in vba the workbook the worksheet cells user forms controls like button all are objects and all have their own properties and methods now these properties can be seen in properties window so go to the view tab and click on properties window the shortcut key is f4 it will open the property window now let's understand few basic points about the macro the macro is always written inside a sub procedure or function and all the sub procedure or function must be end you don't have to write end sub or end function vba will do automatically for you when you create a new sub routine or function so if i add a new sub procedure using keyword sub and a procedure name and then press enter automatically vba will add and sub similarly if i add a function using keyword function and any function name and then press enter vba will add end function line for you in vba apostrophe sign or rem keyword is used to document the program this apostrophe sign is used in the beginning of each line these line are not executable and used to provide information about the program you can use keyword rem to get the help of any object method or property put your cursor on that and press f1 key it's time for today's assignment and we have three assignments for you and the first assignment you have to record a macro so that whenever i execute the macro using shortcut key it should show weekday's name from the selected cell so if i press control w it should show the weekday's name you can put the macro in personal sheet so that if you run in any excel sheet it should display the weekday's name in the second assignment when you click on a button it should filter all the 100 plus tickets and show the tickets in a different sheet so if i click on 100 plus button it will show the data in a different sheet in third assignment we have to create a user form with two buttons add data and clear data when you press add data button the data of user form should be added in a different sheet in next available row so if i press add data button the data should be copied in the next available row similarly if i press add data again the new data should be a new entry the second button clear data 
will clear the form so if i press clear data the enter data should be clear so in this video you have learned how to enable developers tab to write the macros security settings used for macros how to record a macro and the basics of the vb editor in the next video we will learn how to declare variables different data types constants operator used object hierarchy and how to write first macro in excel if you like the content press thumbs up and share with your friends and colleagues i have uploaded the file in shared location do practice complete the assignment and don't forget to share your feedback suggestion and queries in the comment section thanks for watching